Okay, folks, listen, I'm back at it again. Listen, with these easy recipes, right? This one right here will go on my playlist of uh, budget-friendly meals. I want you guys to take a look down here. Not a whole lot of ingredients, a lot of things that you guys probably already have. We all got cheese. You might not have the parm, but you got these ingredients probably, link, you know, inside, you know, your pantry or in your refrigerator, and obviously you've seen beef. So check it out. We making a beef. Well, let me just say it this way. We making a cheesy beef egg noodle recipe. Let's get it. Now, if you guys take a look over here, I already got my pot boiling. You know what I mean? I did the old school thing. I'll show you guys again. Let me go ahead and get my pot holder. I don't know why we all know oil doesn't mix with water, but still just add just a little bit in there. I already did put myself some, uh, I already did put myself some, you know, salt in here just to, you know, get a, you know, a little flavor inside the noodles, right? So got those going. Now let me open up this pack. Now, if you guys get a bag this big, listen, normally when I make it, I only make it about, I use about two thirds of the bag, right? So that's about, I don't know, somewhere right around 12 ounces. This bag right here is like 16 ounces. You know what I mean? So let me just go ahead, mm, maybe a little bit more. You know what I mean? Cause I am using a little bit of extra beef, right? So we'll just do that. Get these going. I'm gonna wait till this fire comes back up. I wanna see it boil and then I'll adjust my temp. Now that I have that going, I've already adjusted my temperature, right? Listen, the recipe normally calls for just one pound. I had some, I had a half a pound left over. Might be just a little bit more. And if you guys know me, I like to do everything on the meaty side anyway, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start putting a little fire underneath this pot right here. All right, so let's go ahead and just start with like a, a medium flame. Let's get some heat. Once that comes up to temp, we'll start, you know, going ahead with the browning process of our ground beef. The main thing is like when you're cooking dinner, this is how I think. I like to multitask. I want everything to be ready at the same time. You know what I mean? So that when I need it, meaning as I'm browning, I might need some bell pepper, right? I might need some onion. So I like to be able to add it when it's ready. So I do it and that's what we call multitasking, right? It makes the cooking process much easier. Just add myself a little olive oil just to get everything going. Move this around. I know it's nice and hot. I can feel the heat. Right? And this is 80-20. It's going to render its own, but we'll drop this in now. Now, you guys see that I'm using, you know, 80-20 ground beef. You know, we could have went ground chicken or ground turkey. You guys decide whichever you would like. Okay, so if you look right here, look. We losing a lot of the pink, it's starting to cook, right? This is a good spot for it to be in. Don't forget, I did use more than a, uh, I did use more than a pound. This is a little bit, just call it, we'll call this a pound and a half, right? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna introduce my onions. I always do my onions first, folks. You guys do it whichever way you guys wanna do it. Now, I don't know if I didn't say it already, you wanna cook your noodles per, per what the package says, right? So the package says al dente should be nine minutes, nine to 11, 10 to 12. You guys do that. I always use that lower number first because we're going to put these in the oven. But I got these going and I already hit it with the cold water to shock it so that I can stop that cooking, you know, process. We don't want to have the mushy noodles. Now, let, after letting this, you know, have a little bit of a head start, I come with the rest of my veggies, right? Now, you guys notice I use yellow and red. I could have used orange, but I was using a yellow, you know, an egg noodle. The yellow is not going to be as seen as much as green and red would have been, you know? So you guys do whatever you want to, but a lot of this, a lot of it's flavor, but the other half of that, just as equally as important, is the presentation. Okay, so now let's talk about the seasoning. This is even before I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic to it. I'm going to be using my bee seasoning, right? This is for them a little bit of a heavier meats, but listen, the flavor profile on this is nice. A works good with this too, but I don't want to overpower it. I just give it just a little bit on there. It looked like that was a lot, but it's not. I sprinkled it around, right? Before I give it a mix up, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in, you know, bring in my garlic now. All right, so now I'm gonna load this up. This is a nice size garlic clove right there, right? Put these two in there. Let's get this going. I want you guys to pay attention. Look at that right there. So listen, if you guys have been out there still mincing and all of that, look, pick yourself up one of these, you know, cut your workflow in half, you know what I mean? And look at that, minced garlic, fresh. And then you know what to do after that, folks. It's really about just mixing this up. And I love using my wooden, 
you know, spoon for everything, right? Love having a flat edge, but you know, a lot of times you guys see me cooking. Watch this. I'm going to do a switcheroo. I come here and I grab the spatula. You can still do everything. It allows you to get underneath, you know what I mean? Get up into these corners. Now, when you think about all of my products, I try to cook with everything low sodium. Even the, uh, the products that I have developed, they low in sodium too, right? So I like to be able to control my salt. So as far as this goes, I just give it two uh, light pinches of salt. You know what I mean? That's just to enhance the flavor. I always like to use, you know, black, fresh black cracked pepper, right? This is the way it go, folks. This is how we level this up, you know? And you guys might want to ask me, like, well, how much, A.B.? Hey, until you get tired of turning it, it's going to be okay. When I grew up thinking that pepper was hot, but listen, it takes on a whole new taste once it starts to heat up. You know, we cooking under this fire. We got some nice heat. I can see a lot of flavor in here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fire right here. Some of y'all going to want to add some black beans to it and roll it up in a burrito. I got you. Now, we'll go ahead and use some W sauce. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our tomatoes in, right? Toma Look, right here we got tomato sauce, and then we got fire roasted. You know what I mean? Uh, this is where you can, you try to cook with like good ingredients. You know what I mean? This way, you know, your end result will be fire. You know, so some of y'all looking at this, and when I say budget friendly, usually we catch these cans on sale. You know what I mean? If you got a garden, we're coming to the end of the summer now, so getting fresh out your garden will be a little bit on the hard side. You know what I mean? I guess it depends on where you live at. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to say is you can catch these cans on sale real cheap. Sometimes it's buy four, get a fifth one free, or you might be able to buy them for a dollar, 99 cent a piece or whatever. But you get them and you stock your pantry. You know why? Because you guys are following myself and other content creators. And we creating that fire and we using these ingredients. So when I tell you they budget friendly, they budget friendly. Now, if I have you guys come in here and take a look at it, by me adding that extra half a pound, look at that right there. That should get you going. Now we want to just cook this, let this simmer a little bit. You know what I mean? But we're gonna do the rest of our prep, right? So I always have block cheese, right? So I got some cheddar right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself, you know, and shred my own. I practice what I preach, folks. You know what I mean? We're gonna use the bigger side because this is going in the oven. Oh, and speaking of the oven, now be a great time to go ahead and preheat to 350 degrees. So we hit the bake, 350, hit start. Now we really, you know, multitasking. Now, let me go ahead and do this. Now we got some parm out here too. Don't worry about the parm right now. Right now, let's just go ahead and get this going. Okay, now that I got my cheese shredded, you know what I mean, uh, this is cooked down. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, you know, from the fire. Actually, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna remove it. It could just sit on top of there. That's fine. You know what I mean? And now would be a great time for you guys to taste it. I just tasted it. It's perfect. I look at my, my tomatoes since I use fire, you know, roasted, and I touch them. You know what I mean? As they get a little bit on the softer side, I like it. I don't want to go too far down. Why? Because we're going in the oven, folks. So we got a mountain of cheese right here. I got some parm. I got my grater right there for that. Now you want to get yourself a bowl, right? Get yourself a bowl. Room temperature cream cheese, folks. You guys will thank me later. If you ever been fighting cream cheese, trying to get it to, you know, break up or do whatever it's going to do, the reason they don't do it is probably because it wasn't ever uh, room temperature. But look how soft that is right there. Then I go ahead and I bring my sour cream in. Now, some of you guys might want to use cottage cheese. Uh, more than likely, the new <laughs> generation is probably scared of the word cottage cheese. Hey, I'm gonna let you guys know a little secret. It's not that I'm scared of it, I just don't want to eat it. Cottage cheese just sounds crazy, you know what I mean? But you can use this, you can use a white yogurt, you know, like a plain Greek yogurt and go from there. And before we mix, check this part out. We finna add a little bit of this parm in here too. Remember folks, what we doing? We're building layers. Okay folks, so look, after mixing my sour cream, Parmesan, right? And my cream cheese together, look at that right there. This is what you'll end up, end up with, right? I did hit it with a splash of salt. Now. I took my noodles, put it in a bowl right here, because what we want to do is we want to put this on top of here, and we're going to mix this into the noodles. You know what? Let's stop kidding ourselves. We got to get in here and mix this up. 
You know why? Because we want to get that feeling, that little mixture that we just had just now, we want to get that on all of it. All right? So just get it all mixed up. And I'm going to show you. Because once we put it in the oven, that parm and everything going to melt along with your cheese and our beef. This right here is going to do it, folks. All right, so what you want to do is take a 13 by 9, right? You want to spray it with some type of non-stick spray. You know what I mean? Uh, those of you guys who don't have this, still doing it old school, you know what I mean? Uh, what are we, what we going to use? You got it. We're going to be using that, that stick of butter. Now, next thing you do is you just take it, you want to get your noodles, right? And you just want to place them so you can get a layer on the, on the bottom. I know we hit it with that that little mixture that we made, you know what I mean? So it'll kind of like be a little bit on the sticky side, but use your spoon or fork or even your hands to just give it a little spread, right? Now we just want to go ahead and just put a little layer, just like we making a lasagna, folks. See how I just push this around right here? And don't forget, folks, this is a budget-friendly meal. I can't, can't say it enough, you know what I mean? Just... That. And remember that cheese? You know, a little bit of that, that freshly grated. Don't overdo it on this part right here, folks, because I do. It just makes like a, to me, it just overpowers the dish with just too much cheese. And I'm a cheese lover, y'all. I never thought I'd say that, but the more and more you get into this cooking here, the more and more you, you know, you start finding out like you do want them to marry. You don't want it to take over the relationship. <laughs> we come with another top layer just like you see don't worry about getting complete coverage you know what I mean uh, it's okay okay so only thing left to do is stick it in the oven listen uncovered for just 20 minutes I'm gonna say set a timer for 18 minutes just so you guys can take a look at it stay on top of it we don't want to have them funny colors that come on top of cheese you know, that, that brown color, we just want it to be nice, melted, heated up the whole thing, and got them noodles just right. 18 minutes, folks. Man, this right here is nice. Then if you want to see, let's see if I can pull one of these up. Got a little bit of that cheese on it. Look at that right there. You see that right there? Mm. See that noodle, nice, soft. Now let me go ahead and put some of this. In this bowl. Move it underneath it. Lift it up. This right here is right, folks. Like I said, it's budget friendly. Friendly, you know. If feed a family of six, everybody go to bed tonight. You know, this night, you know, with your belly full. Trust me, folks. Now, really, what I want to know is, what would you guys add to this to make it even more flavorful? I'm telling you, sometimes just simple works, folks. This right here is right. I'm gonna go ahead and give me another bite. I just been tasting it. You know, little pieces here and there. But this right here, look at it. Fire. Cheers, y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, folks. That right there is real nice. Now, I got two things I want to say. If you, I asked you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what would you do to add to it. For me, I would have just went ahead and just put, you know, did me some bacon. You know what I mean? Use the bacon fat. Maybe do, uh, you know, go ahead instead of using the olive oil to go ahead and brown my meat. You know what I mean? But then you sprinkle the bacon over the top or even throughout, right? Speaking of that, you know that you can really just put this all in here together and just stir it all up and then put it in the oven. Or when it comes out, you can do it that way. I just like the presentations of the layers. I like to see the noodles and just the way it is right here. Not too much cheese, folks. The cheese is really like a compliment, you know, to the dish. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. 
And you know what I'm about to do, folks? I'm about to actually get on the road. I think I'm going to put this in the Tupperware and take it with me.